As an AI developer, I have tried almost every tool under the sun to help me with my projects. Tools like Bolt.new and Fragment are really, really good at generating code bases to get you started on your projects. And then other tools like Cursor and Klein are fantastic at generating functions, scripts, or components within your existing code base. But sometimes you just need a chat GPT-like interface to talk to the latest and greatest LLMs to get advice on very specific problems in your project or to get help with higher level details that an AI coding assistant is not going to be able to help you with. The problem is all of these different LLMs are on different platforms and it just sucks to go and pay $20 a month for GPT and then $20 a a month for Claw, and then you have to go over to this platform for Llama, and then this platform for Gemini. Sure, I could just only ever use one LLM, but I cannot be the only one who gets frustrated with even some of the best LLMs sometimes, and I just have to go and try my shot with another LLM that I think could probably handle this specific problem better. It would be great if there was one platform where I could try all of these different LLMs for cheap and not hit those nasty rate limits all the time. Well, I have found that platform, and I'm quite excited to share it with you today. It's called Chat LLM, and you literally pay $10 a month for a bunch of the best models, and you basically never hit a rate limit. This platform has everything that the others like ChatGPT and Anthropic have, and more. And you save money today by switching to Chat LLM, even if you're only currently paying for one of those other services that I mentioned earlier, like ChatGPT. So today, I'm going to give you a rundown of the platform, including going over a lot of their extra features, so that you can see not only are you not missing out on anything by moving away from those other platforms, but you actually get more. So let's go ahead and check it out and dive right in. So to get started with Chat LLM, all you have to do is go to chatllm.abacus.ai and then click on the Get Started button. I'll have a link in the description as well so you can get to it very, very easily and try it out for yourself. The first month is totally free, so it is really easy to get started. You do have to sign up for two months right away though, so you do have to pay for that second month, but it's a really nice discount and it's way cheaper, even in the long term, compared to paying $20 a month for GPT or Claude. Once you're signed in, you'll have this chat interface right here where you can play with all of the models that I mentioned earlier. Like we have Claude 3.5 Sonnet selected right now. You've got GPT 4.0, Llama 3.1405B, Gemini 1.5 Pro. Even O1 is in this platform as well, which is really neat. So let's go ahead and start playing around with these models and seeing what we can do and also seeing what additional features there are in Chat LLM that you don't have anywhere else. So I'm going to start out really simple here with some prompts to different LLMs. We'll get into the more advanced features with Chat LLM as we go. So right now I'm going to switch to just a random model here. I'll do Gemini 1.5 Pro and I'll ask it to do something basic so we can just see the core features of chat LLM that we'd really expect with any chat platform. So I'll say do some research on the best AI topics to learn right now. All right, so we'll see how fast it is and also if it's gonna search the web. Yep, it did, looking really good. Search the web, it analyzed the results. We can even like click into here to see what it analyzed and what research it did. And yeah, this is looking really, really nice. It's trimming out the output nice and quick and we're getting a really solid answer here. I mean, I, I really do agree with a lot of the trending topics that it listed here, for example. So looking really good. All right, so let's open up a new chat here. Let's try something else. So I'm going to switch my model to GPT-40, and I'm going to attach a document from my computer just with some fake meeting notes that I have here. You can also attach from OneDrive or Google Drive, which is really neat. And I'll just say, uh, summarize these meeting notes. All right, so I'll give that to GPT-40. It'll analyze, and boom, look at how fast that is. We are summarizing this meeting, looking really, really nice. Um, yeah, all right, this is awesome. Um, now, another thing that Chat LLM has that is really, really cool. Let me open up a new chat here. I'll switch my model to Claude. Or actually, no, I'll keep it at GPT-40. It has artifacts like Claude does. So you have that window that opens up on the right side where you can run your code and actually view it on the platform, which is really cool. That's something that GPT does not have. So I'm specifically picking GPT-40 here to show you that it can use artifacts when you can't even do that on chatgpt.com. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on Playground because this is what will give us the artifacts on the right-hand side when we ask the model to code something for us. And so that's kind of the same thing. Playground is equivalent to artifacts. And so now I'll say, make a snake game with HTML, CSS, 
and a JS. All right, so it's gonna generate all the code for me here. And so it'll take a little bit. So I'm gonna pause and come back once it is done. All right, it is generated. This is looking really, really nice. It's a little cut off here. When I've tried it in the past, it hasn't been, but this is looking nice. And yeah, you have the preview here in one tab and then the code on the other, just like you would have with like the artifacts in Claude, for example. But again, using GPT, that's not something you can do on chatgpt.com. So yeah, let me go ahead and try this out. All right, I'm apparently sucking, but yeah, this is working really, really nicely. All right, let me just die here. All right, there we go. Nice, and yeah, this is awesome. So moving on. Next up, you can actually summarize videos that you upload into the platform here. Not something I have seen before within a chat interface like this. So, so neat. So I've uploaded the outro for one of the last videos on my channel, and I'm just gonna ask it to summarize this video here. So it takes a little bit longer, obviously, because it's a full audio file, but it's going to analyze this video here and it's going to summarize it for me, which is just so, so cool. And you can see here that not only does it process the audio, but also the visuals as well. So it says I'm wearing a black t-shirt, a beard and short hair. I guess that describes me pretty well. See the desk with a laptop, bookshelves behind me. Yes, that is definitely correct. The main topic is the bolt.new fork. And that is right, because this is the outro from my bolt.new fork. Um, yeah, this is awesome. At the end, I ask viewers to like and subscribe. I always do that. Um, gesture. The description notes at the 34 second mark, the man points up with his index finger. <laughs> That's funny because I always do that at the end of my videos. So I feel kind of called out here. But yeah, this is working really, really, really well. So you can use this, like if you get like a loom from somebody, you can just throw it in here and summarize it um, or summarize YouTube videos. There's so many amazing things you can do with this as well. So yeah, let's move on to the next thing. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna switch back to GPT-40 and then attach an image that I already have uploaded to the platform here. I'm gonna select Playground because I want this to create HTML and CSS to make something very similar to the attached website image. All right, so now it's gonna generate the code for me to mimic this image. So it will show the image understanding here. And then because I selected the playground, it will open up the playground on the right hand side as well once it is done generating all the code for me. All right, there we go. It is generated and it doesn't look as good in the little preview here, but like this is not bad. I mean, the, the image was a bit more detailed. It looked better overall, but like this is pretty good for GPT to, to mimic this. And so I can even take the code here if I wanted to. So I'll copy the HTML and I can go into a JS fiddle here because that way I can see it in a more full view. So let me run this now. We can see what it looks like. Like, yeah, this is a decent start to a landing page. I mean, there's a lot more you'd want to do, but that's why you can just keep prompting the LLM here. So overall, it's pretty neat. Uh, so that's everything that I have for different things that I wanted to show you and test out. Uh, but there are a couple more features that I want to call out really quickly. First of all, you can generate images. I mean, that's something that's really, really important. It's good that we have that as well. You can also have it generate code. And the neat thing about having all these buttons is you're basically directing the LLM for what you are looking for. Because when you're in chatgpt.com, for example, and you ask it for something like an answer where it should generate code to get you the answer, it doesn't always do that. And so now here you'd click on this and say, I want you to generate code to answer my question, which is really, really awesome. Also, you can take a screenshot of your screen, which is really, really nice. So I can even go to my entire screen here, take a screenshot, and then use that as the context for my LLM, which is super neat and can save a lot of time. You can generate PowerPoints, which is really, really cool. And then if I click on the more here, I can do a video analysis. I can scrape a URL, which is really important. I can generate videos, which is really cool. I have not seen that on another platform like this. Um, yeah, docs generation. Yeah, there's so many cool features that you have here. And on top of that, this is a team-based platform. So if I go to the top right and click on invite team here, you can see that I can invite other people into this platform to play around with the LLM at the same time with me. And we can share our prompts and our conversations with each other, which is really, really powerful because collaboration as you're working with LLMs is a really important thing. Also, I just want to mention that you can connect Abacus here, Chat LLM, to other platforms as well. So if I click on messaging connectors and then go to platform connectors here, I'll open up a new tab here. If I click on add new connector, you can see all the different integrations that are available here, like Teams, Jira, Confluence, Google Drive, Slack, a lot of the best options you could hope for here. So you can connect your Chat LLM AI into these platforms to have a chatbot essentially. So a lot of really cool features here. There's so many reasons to use this over something like chatgbt.com 
or Claude within the Anthropic site. There's a lot to offer, and they're continuing to pump out a lot of more amazing features as well. Chat LLM is my favorite platform for when you want to, you know, just chat with an LLM. And a lot of times that is exactly what you need instead of going to all those fancy AI tools out there. Especially for, like I said at the beginning, when you have a very specific problem or something on the other extreme that's really high level that you want assistance with with an LLM. So that's all I've got for you today. If you appreciated this content, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. And with that, I will see you in the next video.